Which was the most popular real-time rendering engine in 2025? Was it Lumion, D5 Render, Twin Motion, or Enscape? So in this video, we're gonna be using Google Trends to look at the data to see how each company fared throughout the year. We'll look at the high spots, the low points, and we'll see who came out on top. Honestly, the results did surprise me because I made this prediction last year and it actually came true. So let's get right into it. Now I've hopped into Google Trends. If you've never used this before, it's a free tool that Google gives out that lets you Basically look at how popular a topic was. So all I have to do is type right here a keyword. So let's start off with Lumion. I can search it in different parameters. All the searches I'll be using today will be search term. Once I do that, it's going to ask me what kind of data do I want? Well, I wanna see how popular it was in the past five years. That way I could look at trends and patterns. I want to see worldwide traffic and I wanna see YouTube search. And I say YouTube search because if you think about data, you know, when you're trying to learn something, right, you typically go to YouTube or it's a Google search that goes into YouTube. So YouTube is great for tutorials and learning stuff. So we'll be looking at that and we'll be looking at different data sets. I wanna do past five years because I wanna explain what this data is actually showing us because it's a little confusing at first. Right here, you can see the dates. This is present over here and we get a value of 20. What does 20 mean, right? So if we look over here, this is 100, okay? Right around here is 100. This is normalized data. So this will either expand or shrink when compared against other terms. So what this is saying with the 20 here, this is Lumion has 20% of the search volume from its peak, okay? So this will change based on the amount of data that I have here. So if I say past 12 months, this is gonna look like a different shape, okay? So now it's 57% from the peak starting at this year. So you can see Lumion's essentially dropped about, you know, 40% in search volume from the start of the year, okay? So very interesting data set. So I wanna bring up the past five years because I feel like it's really interesting to see how all the real-time rendering engines kind of fare together. Next guy is Twin Motion. let's drop that in. And now the data is gonna change, right? So we're seeing that now Twin Motion is being compared against the 100 that is here, okay? So again, it's always compared to the peak. That's what normalized data means. So what we're looking at is at the end or at the start of 2026, you know, we could say right before 2026, end of 2025, you know, Lumion is still getting more traffic than Twin Motion, okay? Twin Motion, we can see throughout its whole life has just been like kind of cruising along, you know, very, very steady. It's got ups and downs. You know, we usually see these downs around the holiday time because people are hanging out with their families and everything. Looking at this, we can see Lumion's just been dropping off like very, very rapidly. So now let's add in Enscape and we'll see what Enscape's doing here. So Enscape's this yellow guy right here and you can see over time it grew and then around, let's say around here, 2024, June 30th, we see that it starts to decline. We're seeing a lot of these engines are beginning to decline. And this is part of the reason. Check this out. Let me drop in D5 Render. So D5 Render, we all love them, new kid on the block. But look at their growth from like initial start to now. If we look carefully, right around here, they have essentially just passed everybody. So looking at this data, it is incomplete at the time of recording, right? We are on January 8th, but we can look at the past couple of weeks uh, so you could see. But you could see we're kind of hitting this point where it's like Lumion and D5 are king, then Enscape, then Twin Motion. You know, if that data point's not good enough for you, we can go back and we're replicating the same information. Lumion, D5 as kings, sometimes tied, sometimes Enscape is tied. So here we can see Lumion is still probably getting the most traffic, you know, right before Christmas, Lumion, Enscape, D5 all tied. Right before that, still a little push for Lumion being a little bit higher. Um, and it really seems like Twin Motion is trailing the bunch here, right? So here we've got some ties. So this is all to say, it's all, it's actually kind of all coming together, if that makes sense. Uh, if we look at like 2022, there was a clear separation of like who's the winner, right? Obviously Lumion, a lot more traffic than Twin Motion. And I do wanna be clear here, when we see the values of like 78, it doesn't mean like 78 million searches, okay? That information is not public. Again, it's to the peak. So D5 at this point had 5% of Lumion's peak of that 100, which is setting that bar. That's the ceiling, okay? Keep that in mind. So we're kind of hitting this point where everything is converging into one spot, which I think is, is very interesting. And it makes me wonder, you know, 
what could be the reason behind that? We're seeing a decline in real time rendering because this little guy over here, Nano Banana, you know, insert whatever term you want, whether it's, you know, OpenAI or Gemini, Nano Banana Pro, this guy has completely broke the ceiling and the chart. So if we look at the 100, right, because now our, our graph has completely flattened because of how much more volume Nano Banana has been getting. And of course, it's not going to let me click, but you get the point. If Nano Banana was 100, you know, the Lumion D5s and Scape Twin Motion would be like a 2 to a 4. So that's that's my point. Like the AI stuff has completely like affected real time rendering. Um, so it does mean that you know we are losing some some real time rendering you know search and work because of that. So if we were to look at the data from the start of the year, we see Lumion thirty five, Twin Motion sixteen, Enscape twenty seven, D five fourteen. Okay, now compare that to let's say let's just say the week before Christmas because we've got partial data. We're at Lumion 20, Twin Motion 12, Enscape 20, D5 20. So kind of crazy to see all that dropping, but increasing for some of the players there. So to switch gears here, I did the same exact video last year. This is the data from the 2024 video, and then this is the 2025. Obviously I'm posting in 2026, but that data set. So this is what we were just looking at, and this is the expanded area, and this is the 2024 data with my predictions. That's what these fancy little lines are. But initially I had thought, you know, this guy being, um, being Enscape would continue to kind of like average out, do the normal, you know, type of business, but we're seeing a little bit of a drop here, right? Lumion's continuing to decline. Twin motion, we were saying slow and steady and D5 rapid increase. But for most part, some of that is correct. We're seeing twin motion dipped, right? Twin motion is this red line, right? We see that dip there. D5 has gone up, Lumion, that steady decrease. Same thing with Enscape. They're kind of like in the same camp and they're all kind of converging on this point. I thought there would be greater separation, but it's actually coming pretty, pretty close. So what does this all mean? Is Archivist dead? No, I don't think it's, it's that at all. It's just, I think what we're really seeing here is from the past, the times have completely changed where real-time rendering was such a big popular thing. If we were to look at it in the last year, just strictly last year, we're gonna see a lot more of like a normal looking chart. It's just when you add that extra data in from the previous years, it's like, oh wow, things things got a little crazy. Here we're just seeing kind of like a, a steady decline, you know, especially around June to November, you kind of see this lull, right? You see almost like a, like a little valley here start to form where the players kind of all started really strong here. You know, Lumion setting the, the ceiling here at 100 and then ending at 54, you know, and D5, you know, 57. Pretty crazy. You know, Twin Motion at the same point, 47, ending it at 30, Enscape 70, ending at 50. So pretty, pretty interesting to see that overall, most players have decreased but D5 has increased. So let's talk about speculation for 2026. What are we gonna see? My opinion, I think we're gonna see more of a, a Lumion decline, Enscape decline, twin motion. I think it's gonna be either steady with a slight decline, and I think D5 is the only one that's positive. The growth that they've been doing in the past couple of years has been insane, and I, I don't think that's gonna stop here because if you think about the data I just showed you with Nano Banana Pro, there's a lot of volume in AI, right? D5 is the only one that's actively putting those AI features into the tool set. And it's not making it a full, you know, AI suite. It's just making those tedious workflows sped up with AI. So they're doing it tastefully. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons D5 is dominating. Easy to use, the AI is amazing, just the functionality. So I could see, I could see them coming out on top as like a clear winner, but it is hard to ignore when you see you know, something like Nano Banana Pro or just Nano Banana kind of come and take the world by storm here. I mean, look at this. The other thing I wanted to show off is just Unreal Engine. You know, let's say the sister product of, you know, Twin Motion has also been experiencing something similar, right? A slow decline. So what, is, what does that mean? Unreal Engine is used for like games, film, architecture, archiviz, and it's used everywhere. So it's curious to me, like, why is there a decline? Because, you know, AI hasn't really like affected games and like really that's where the, their money is coming from. So 
something to think about. I, I don't know the exact reasoning behind this, but it is weird to see them continue to drop. If we were to look at our five-year chart, right, we're going to see something similar where huge increase and then just kind of like the same chart as Lumion, if you think about it, right? They hit a peak and then it's just kind of started to slow down. You know, is it just saturation? You know, is it hype dying off? I don't know, but it is, it is curious to see. But I think for us, you know, looking at all this stuff in the ArcViz world, it's interesting to see like how small <laughs> this like niche is compared to some of the big players like AI or just the game space, you know, we spend so much time in the scene, but it's just like, it's so, so minute, it, it's crazy. So since we looked at some of the real-time rendering engines, I wanna look at some of the, um, I wanna look at V-Ray as well. Let's add V-Ray into this because V-Ray, for those that don't know, um, not a real-time rendering engine, we can kind of see a very similar kind of slow decline, right? It's, it's across the board but still obviously very, very popular, right? So if you look at this, it's V-Ray is up top. That's interesting. But again, it's it has declined. You know, this this timeline, like right around here, you know, was that like tail end of, uh, of COVID and everything uh, when we were just like watching things all the time has definitely decreased across the board. So really interesting to see all this. Curious what you guys think and who you think will be the clear winner next year. If there is a winner or if it all goes down or it all goes up. I don't know, but I do know that AI is definitely impacting all this to some degree. I think that's where like this market share of the search volume is going to. You know, people aren't necessarily looking for the real-time workflows anymore because they, they've got easy access to AI. In my opinion, you do need <laughs> real-time rendering. You need 3D modeling. You need a substrate in order for your visuals to be improved by AI. So that's why I like the D5 approach. But anyways, I always like to do this video right around the start of the, uh, the new year just to kind of close things up and reflect on how all the companies have done. But again, thank you for getting to this point in the video and watching and hopefully liking and subscribing. Special thanks to everyone who's been with me on this journey. You know, I think 2026 is gonna be huge for us. So looking forward to seeing how that all goes. You know, at some point I should probably put my name in here, but I don't wanna embarrass myself. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video.